She's coached women's basketball here in Emory & Henry for 28 years, and this past Monday, she decided to step down from her position. Today, I have her on the set with me, Coach Joyce Gruggs. Coach, thanks for coming on. You're welcome. Great to be here. I'm glad to have you, and like, like we mentioned, uh, you stepped down last Monday from your position. What prompted you to do that? What, uh, what was your decision-making process behind deciding to step down? Well, a decision of that magnitude, like you said, after 28 years is probably a, too lengthy of a process to, to recount here. But uh, I think, you know, just having the opportunities to teach full-time and some of the exciting things that are going on in the curriculum here at Emory & Henry now um, were big factors in that decision. How long had you been considering? Did you, is there any timetable on that? Um, I mean, I know the, the first time I really thought about it was last fall in faculty conference, and they were talking about the curriculum changes, and I thought, man, that would be, wouldn't that be great to get in on that and, uh, you know, think y you don't have any more room on your plate. Um, and then just, you know, was able to think about making some room on the plate. So um, that's, I guess, part of the process. Now you compiled 384 wins, which is 34th all-time in Division Three. So you obviously had some success. What are you most proud of your teams for? Um, you know, I've said this um, quite a bit in regards to that, and I think the thing that's always been the strength of Emory and Henry women's basketball has been teamwork, um, and that's the thing that you're proud of when you can take a group and they maximize each other and become more than you know what what anybody thinks they're capable of. And I would say. Um, Anybody that's watched Emory and Henry women's basketball over the course of the years or the ODAC coaches uh, would, would probably um, echo the same thing. Teamwork's been, you know, what's been our strength. And to me, that's, you know, something I'm proud of. If, if our players can understand that what you do to help somebody else, whether you're talking about basketball or in life, um, that's a key, then to me that's, that's a good thing. How have things changed? Uh, <laughs> within the athletic department from the start uh, to now and also just in, within the women's basketball program from the time you Women's arrived. basketball itself has, has changed and, and uh, Emory and Henry and when I came there were probably like six of us you know and we taught and coached and you know did everything there was um, and then the nature of, of technology and the things that have changed that aspect of coaching um, you know when I came you might play somebody and um, you didn't know if they'd won their last game or not there's just no way to find out you know there was if you didn't have access to a newspaper in their area you wouldn't know um, so you know how that's changed and now you have um, game DVD exchange and you when you play somebody you've seen them play you know two or three times already and you know all the preparation work that goes into it and um, you know that part has has definitely changed the responsibilities and the and the time that it takes um, putting in um, being prepared for competition. And I, th I think that's not unique to Division Three as well, just the technology in general has affected people all throughout the sports world as far as scouting their next right. opponent goes. Right. Uh, Coach, what will you miss most about uh, your your coaching job or, or what will you miss least? Um, I'm not quite sure I n know how to answer either one of those. Let's see, because uh, pe like I said to you earlier this week when we talked, I think right. most people have come up to me and, and pointed Ask out. You at least most people haven't even asked. They've said, "Oh, you won't have to do this anymore right. or that anymore or whatever," you know. And and that's not it. I think the thing that you'll miss the least are the the times when um, you know we didn't perform up to what we were capable of. Those kinds of things that were frustrating. You probably miss those the least, or when you know, young people make decisions that weren't very good decisions, those kinds of things, those kind of situations you, you miss the least. And, I, and I, probably what you miss the most, or I'll miss the most, are just the opposite end of the spectrum. When you have players and they perform and they, and like I said, the teamwork and they maximize each other and they, they're successful and, and the satisfaction that comes from that, um, you know, that, that's something that will be hard to, to find in any other aspect of my life. Well, in regards to what you'll miss the least, what was your most trying moment as a coach here at Emory & Henry? Well, I think that over the course of 28 years, the thing that, that's the most difficult sometimes are the times when you have a team that you know is capable of more and, you know, they don't. Or probably the most heartbreaking ones are the ones where a team, you know, they may perform well. They may do the things that they need to do, and yet, you know, something else goes wrong or they just don't win and and you know so you're you're disappointed for them 
Um, you know, there's times I guess you're disappointed in a team and there's times you're disappointed for a team. And either one of those, I guess, are, are times that are, are difficult, I guess. Well, for this team right here, they obviously have a lot of talent coming back. Uh, a lot of players like Alex, Alex Lyons and Sarah Petty that have been in the system for three years. What kind of a job is the coach that is going to, t is going to succeed you going to get? What kind of uh, job is she going to have from day one? How easy is it going to be for her to compete? Or he. Or he. Knows. Or he. <laughs> um, I don't know about the, you know, answering the how they're going to compete. Um, I just know it's, you know, I felt fortunate when I came here 28 years ago, um, you know, to be at a place like Emory and Henry and the people that are here and your colleagues that you work with and the, and being in the ODAC with, with those coaches. Um, I think the, the blessings of being in a place like this and, and those factors will be the overwhelming positive for the person coming in. Um, yeah, they're, they're fortunate that they have players with great experience coming back, um, you know, so they have those advantages too. But being at a place like this, I think, is the number one, you know, advantage that a new person coming into this position has. Well, what makes it so special to be a coach here at Emory & Henry? Uh, is it a, it's a close-knit community, but is it close in the athletic department as well? And, and what, what, is, what are the real benefits of being a coach here? Um, I think because you're allowed to... You know, you're allowed to do the things you want to do. You can emphasize what you want to emphasize. Um, you know, you can have opportunities to be successful. Um, and, it, and it's a great place. You know, so people sometimes who aren't very familiar with athletics will say, I don't know how you recruit. And you think, um, well, you know, fortunately we have something tremendous to offer people. So that's, you know, that's a plus. Um, I don't know, I probably haven't answered your question at all. Well, it, it obviously is a, is a great place to be, uh, if nothing else. It was ranked on the Forbes Top 100 list. But for the, the players that are in the system right now, how do you think their futures you know, look right now as far as basketball is concerned? You, know, do you, you, you mentioned that you don't know how competitive they're going to be next year for their coach. But you know, these, are, these are a good group of players. Right. Um, and they all have experience right, right now. Um. I mean, they, you know, everybody in that, that's in a coaching chain situation has, has to have their attention drawn, you know. Here comes somebody new. We have no idea what they're going to do. Um, I may have started every game my whole career here. I may not have had the opportunity I thought I should have, ha ha have had in the past. So, you know, anytime there's a change like that, it's a new opportunity for all of them. So, um, you know, they, they have an opportunity to be successful and, um, and be able to compete. Well, Coach, you have anything else to say? Um, I think you ask about um, great memories, and, and I think the, you know, the things that stick out are, are, I mean, you can remember games and those kinds of things, but you remember the people and the things they were able to achieve in those situations and the things that they've gone on to do you know, beyond Emory and Henry and beyond basketball. That what their experience is here as a student and as an athlete and the ways that that prepared them to be successful later on. I mean, those are the, you know, those are the great things.